In Jakarta, China's Premier Li Chi Young met the Vietnamese Prime Minister on the sidelines of the ASEAN summit. On Sunday, US President Joe Biden will be in Hanoi for high-level talks as the two countries vie for Vietnam support. This is an invitation that came from the Vietnamese leadership that they feel that a visit in person by Biden to Vietnam is necessary to announce an upgrade in the partnership between the US and Vietnam. This will be the first time that President Biden, whose generation was engulfed by the Vietnam War, sets foot in the country. He didn't protest against the war, nor did he serve. I am who I am. I'm not big on flak jackets and tie-dye shirts and, you know, that's not me. Now he wants to elevate the US-Vietnam partnership from former enemies to an important alliance. What we've seen now is, especially on the bilateral and trade, uh, trade and investment side, um, we're seeing new heights. Um, last year, we saw that the U.S. was Vietnam's largest uh, export market. Um, and on the other side, Vietnam was uh, the U.S.'s eighth largest trade partner. The U.S. is also looking to shore up its allies in a region where China is expanding its influence to accommodate its military ambitions and shift the balance of power in Southeast Asia in its favour. In July, the Vietnamese Prime Minister visited Beijing for the first time during his time in office. Biden's first trip to Vietnam is considered a strategic step to shift the geopolitical landscape. Overall, what it's doing is looking to en enhance its ability to move its assets around as needed as part of its wider strategic deterrence effort, which is directed at China. That includes pushing back against China's expansive claims in the South China Sea, which Vietnam resolutely rejects. And while the US says it doesn't take sides in territorial disputes, this will no doubt be an issue on the table in Hanoi on Sunday. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera. The presidents of Mexico and Colombia have called for a boost to global